what happens when the talk is over? Are you getting on your jet and flying away? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are times when my family wishes I would do that, but um, that's just not me. I will, I work the room beforehand. Um, I love to walk into a room as people are coming in and introduce myself and chat if that's appropriate. But certainly when it's over, invariably people will want to chat, they'll want to get a photo, they'll want to talk, they'll want to ask questions. And I love doing that with the people in the audience, but I especially love doing debriefs with the team who did the event. Again, to be sure that we made the mark, that um, are there ways that we could have done more? Did they? Did any new ideas get stirred in them uh, that might be intriguing for a follow-up? There's one group that I've spoken for for three years in a row and even offered to do individual coaching calls with some of their participants. Um, we hadn't agreed on that ahead of time, but we all felt like that would be such a tremendous value add. So I added that in as part of my arrangement with them so that I could personalize the content even more and give them back a summary of outputs that we weren't able to cover entirely in the workshop that I was doing. So those are just some things. They're, they're just true to who I am. I want to 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 deliver far more than's promised because I've been in the buying side of things, the hiring side of things, and I know what it feels like to have someone that's committed to more than just um, what we put on paper. <laughs>